we're going to play Valiant Hearts The Great War oh it's a Ubisoft game oh, fuck. I don't know what I'm quite interested in just now no one oh, people are flaming uh, Nintendo for trying to screw over YouTubers right people are annoyed at Valve for trying to make modern you have to pay for it yeah I saw that yep and people are annoyed at Kojima no at Konami for kicking Kojima out yeah yeah no one is annoyed at EA just now. Yeah, and basically all the other companies being assholes has taken the attention away. This is going to be play. Veteran mode. No, I need vet. I don't want that one. I need no, this. no, let's not do that. So start. There's a dog, and I know this type of game. August 1st. 1914. After the assassination of Prince Franz Ferdinand of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the German Empire declares war on Russia. Because of established alliances, France is preparing for conflict. A few hours after the announcement of the general mobilization, German civilians living in France are asked to leave the country. Karl is one of them. World War One. Yeah, I was expecting World War Two until I saw the German flag. Wee oui, wee, oui, Monsieur. And then what's the pitchfork? Well, that's bad. Then you'll be arrested for hiding stuff. He's not even allowed to take his wifey with him. What's life with the wifi? Wi <laughs> We're replacing waves with the Wi-Fi. <laughs> She's our wifi. Yeah. Wifi makes too much sense. That's me Wi-Fi. You can see broadband instead. Go kind of broadband from there on. <laughs> <laughs> A few days after Carl was deported, the war was hungry for more and took away a meal as well. No, reach. Yes. Is this going to be emotional? This game. As far as I know, yes. Okay, right. Like so many others. He had no idea what fate had in store for him. I read something absolutely horrendous yesterday that oh. happened around World War One. Okay. Would you like to hear pretty much the most depressing thing ever? It would. Before, I was. I think it was just before the outbreak of World War One, when they knew some shit was going to go down and they were mobilising troops. A Scottish battalion was on a train, supposed to go down to. Uh, to catch a ship somewhere in the south coast of England. Anyway, yeah, and um, due to a series of fuck ups, including one that might have been by my ancestor, because his surname was Hutchison, and he was in this area, um, the train was stopped on the line uh, waiting for another train to go past, which was mistakenly routed onto the wrong track. Another train was late. And was trying to speed up. It's the worst rail disaster in UK history. Basically, there was a five train crash, Ooh. and a battalion of over 300 men was reduced to 58. <sighs> the train was like 260 feet long, and after the crash, had been reduced to like 60. Wow. And um, this was, uh, it was near Greta. Oh. Um, what was it? The people who were investigating the fire, the fire officers who'd come about the fires that started, heard uh, gunshots, and assumed it was ammunition being detonated by the flames. It wasn't. It was the soldiers who were trapped begging to be shot because their legs were burning. Wow. So, the, when we started playing a World War One game, that happened to be the first thing that came to mind because I only read that yesterday. And now I'm like already depressed. I'm pre-depressed going into this game. Well, I'm just thinking like, why can't I just leave? 
<laughs> See you guys. Bye. No, GG. <laughs> GG. No re. The one dance, please. Teams. Teams. Change teams. A couple things I want to find out. This art style, I fucking love it. Yeah. I like, I like the leaves falling, but I love how it's like basically drawn in. And look at the size of his feet. He got tiny feet. Yeah, tiny little legs. Okay, I guess we go through here. Okay. He looks like a hamster. <laughs> he looks like he's sleeping. Oh! That guy's mad at you, man. Yeah. Now it looks like 1920s strong. Could you go through that door and all your clothes fell off? It's every man's dream. Oh, more clothes. Now you're a soldier. Yep, that was very quick training. Oh, wait, what? It says, go get your fucking bugle, fuck with. Why is my clothes different? There's no battle! Where are you charging? Why are my clothes different? So you know that you're you. I thought he was gonna shoot you. Oh, I would know I'm me thanks to the glorious beard. Oh, now you're training. Oh. Let's go on being it. <laughs> it wants a <laughs> being it. Yeah, it's just sitting in his band. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Press X to throw. It says your bomb didn't detonate quick enough, you lose. <laughs> oh. Good enough. I just realised the German has on me. even fucking. Fuck it. I like how this guy is focusing attention on only you. Oh, look at that throw though. That throw though. Yeah, that was pretty good. Is that basic training? Must be. It just, but apparently what? you're the only soldier that matters. Yeah. You're gonna take on all of the gems by yourself. I'm Master the Chief. The Huns shall be no more. I'm Master Chief! Or is declared. You haven't been promoted enough to be Master Chief yet. You're like Private Chief. I'm actually a mule from um, Noble, is it five? Ah, oh, right. Oh! I mean, was badass! <laughs> I'm just through basic training, so let me have the honour of raising the flag. You deserve it. You're the, you have the best beard. I have the only beard. Maybe they do have everybody raise the flag. You just hold it, they take it down, and you just raise it again. We are on our way to Paris. The atmosphere here is strangely cheerful. Now, I hope that the harvest goes well. Rely on our neighbours for help. They've always been gracious and charitable people. I'll write again as soon as I get my assignment. Please kiss my little grandson for me. At the train depot in Paris, trying to reach his regiment at platform 21, Emile would meet the man he would soon... Oh, you are Emile. The man I, forgot, I forgot that was your name. I was like, why is he talking about being Emile? <laughs> Oh shit, no. <laughs> you trying to club senior officers? No, wait. No, I just put boiling fucking steam on them. Now I. Oh wait, no. I guess I'll go over here. They're supposed to be your dudes. Aha! <laughs> he jacked his way. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh. oh, thanks, bud. <laughs> no! Fucking asshole. My heart comes off when I hit. Sweet. Whoop. Can't go that way. <laughs> he doesn't like red light. Capital line. punishment for being a fucking nut job. He doesn't like red light. But he loves weight. Very frosty. Oh, oh, so shit. what did blowing the ah. steam on those dudes do? Alright, Carl's German, you're gonna have to fight your body! I've not seen that person yet. No. Emil. Like Emil. Wait, that's the big black dude that's fighting people. I wouldn't call him black, you racist. He looks black. At least I can't wait to get fighting. Maybe I'll ease off. Oh, some of the pain I feel inside. Very. Right, so he's, he's the big tough dude with a heart of gold.
Do 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 do. You're good for trip morale. So you're gonna make friends with them. Um, Heart of Gold fighting guy. All oh, right, let's go recreate that train accident. No, I'm just gonna put more. St Why couldn't I just use that ladder to start off with? <laughs> Oh wait, 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 wait. There was something in the way of it, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. America. And just walk away from it. I thought you were going for the hug there, to be honest. 